Hi, I'm Wanda from Amanda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make these super easy cushion covers. They really are the easiest cushion cover you'll ever make. Now you can see here I've got one in a Japanese fabric, this one's in a sateen and this is in a Christmas fabric. So let's get on and show you how to make these. So what you need to make this 14 inch cushion cover is a piece of fabric that measures 36 inches long and 14 and a half inches wide. Now what you do is you're going to draw a quarter of an inch in from either end along here, quarter of an inch, and then you'll go and press that into place. And then once you've done that, you'll draw another line a quarter of an inch from that folded edge and you'll come down an inch. So it'll look like this. Here we are there, there's my quarter of an inch and there's my inch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to sew down here about an eighth of an inch in. So I'm going to top stitch that, that folded edge. And I'm also going to do about an eighth of an inch on the other folded edge. And I'll do that on both ends. So as you can see, I've neatly sewn my uh, two sides here so I have a neat finish on it either end. And now what I need to do is I need to take my piece of fabric and fold it in half. Now I'm using a sateen, so I actually ended up um, ironing this in half. You don't have to if you're using quilting material, it'll take a nice finger press, but this just kept popping out. So once I've done that and I've got a line here to work from, which is the centre of my fabric, I've also put a couple of marks here with a friction pen, don't use a ballpoint. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that centre the line that I have I'm going to line it up on the 16. Now it can be anywhere on your mat, it doesn't matter, but I'm using the 16 inch line. Okay, so I've got that lined up there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one piece over. Now I want it to be to end up four inches past this line here. So as I'm on the 16 and I go four inches, I should have it lined up along the 12 inch line. Okay, so that's my four inches. One, two, three, four. So I'll do that. Okay, now when I bring the next piece over, I'm going to count the four inches from this edge here. So I'm on the 12, so my line, my other piece needs to end on the 16. So I just bring that over, line that edge up there on the 16 inch line. And that's ready for me now to pin. And I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam on either side taking care to catch in both these overlapped edges. So, as you can see, I've sewn along either side with a quarter inch seam and I've backstitched at the ends. So now you can clip the corners, just take them off, being careful not to cut your stitching, and then it's just a matter of turning it through. So I'll we'll just give it a quick turn through just to show you what it looks like. Now you can use any material for this. As I say, this one's a sateen. You can use quilting fabric, you can use denim, uh, it looks nice in all sorts of fabrics. Okay, so and there we are. We have our cushion cover, so all I need to do now is to pop my insert in. So there we are, all finished. That's the front and that's the back. Okay, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to check out the website for all the measurements.